So now that we've shown you how to install your submersible pump, let me show you how to connect the well hose to the pump. The first thing you're going to do is screw in the fitting to the pump. It's just a standard NPT thread, so it should screw right into your pump. Once you have the fitting tightened, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to roll out your hose so we can attach the hose to the male end. When you're sliding the hose over the male end, you want to make sure the rib is on the opposite side of where the wires are coming out of the submersible pump. Now we're going to attach our three piece rings. All you need to do this is an Allen key. When you're tightening the three-piece rings, you want to make sure with the glass reinforced nylon fittings not to over tighten them. You also want to make sure the rib of the well hose is not in the gap space. You also want to make sure that the gap spaces are even. Now when you're adding your second ring, you want to offset the gap spaces. Again, you want to make sure the gap spaces are even. Now it's time to splice the power cable. Follow your manufacturer instructions. Splice kits are readily available online or at your local pump supplier. Okay, so now we're wired up. Now it's time to tie down the power cable. The first thing you're going to want to do is run your cable straps every 12 feet through the open spaces provided on the rib of the well hose. Once all your cable straps are set in place, you're going to want to roll the hose over and you're going to want to attach the power cable to the opposite side of the rib. It's very important that you tie the power cable to the opposite side of the rib. When you tie the power cable down to the well hose, you want to use a standard clove hitch tie. There are instructional videos online on how to tie a clove hitch tie. There is a 3% stretch in the hose, so we recommend 5% slack in the power cable. The best way to measure out the slack in the power cable is to lay a piece of 6 inch PVC pipe over the hose as you're tying the power cable down. And you want to continue that all the way down the length of the hose 
to give you the proper slack in the power cable. Okay, once your power cable is secure and your wellhead is assembled, it's time to add the fitting onto the wellhead. Again, it's a standard NPT thread, so it should thread right into your wellhead. You slide the hose over the male end on the fitting, just like we did above the pump. It's the same exact installation process as we showed you earlier. You tighten the three-piece rings with an Allen key. Mind your gap space and just remember to offset the gaps when you're securing the three-piece rings at the wellhead. Okay, once your power cable is attached and your well head secure, now you're ready to install the pump. Thanks for watching. We look forward to helping you out with your well.